Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Um, now today, obviously, first week of Premier League fixtures are over. So today, I thought I'd give you week two. Now, if you haven't watched this before, it's about to six fixtures from the ten. Um, and I'll give you the predictions of that, that result. Um, obviously, I would get time to do do all 10 but then it'll be very long and also a bit boring so guys for week 3 which will be a week today you can actually tell me what results you want to see me predict by either commenting on YouTube uh, this video comment on it what fixtures you want to see me predict you can tweet, tweet me on Twitter all the links are down below by the way or you can mesh money on my Facebook page. Um, there's only one thing you do have to do if you want to do this, and that is be subscribed to the channel. Um, set from that, you know, just let me know, and I will get, I will do that for next week. Um, but anyway, guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and let's go. So the first game I'm going to predict is Everton Southampton. Now Everton drew to all with Wolves at Mullen uh, at Molyneux. Uh Sorry if I mispronounced that Wolves. Um, playing Southampton, playing a team. I'm not 100% how they're going to do this season. Uh, I think they might struggle on the Mark Hughes. No disrespect to Mark Hughes. I just can't see him keep the team up. He struggled with Stoke. What's the difference with Southampton? Everton at home where they are strongest. So where, well, where everyone's strongest to be honest. Uh, so I'm going to go with a 2-0 scoreline to Everton. Um, sorry Southampton fans. Um, but I just feel like it's going to be a 2-0 uh, Everton win. So, uh, Tottenham versus Fulham, the next fixture. Now, Tottenham beat Newcastle 2 1. So, with that in mind, at the minute, the only game to play scheduled at Wembley, uh, I think there might be a few more played at Wembley. Um, I'm going to go with a Tottenham win and I'm going to go 3 0. Um, now, yeah, again, sorry for every cup, I think I thought you going to lose this, that's my opinion and my prediction. Um, I just think Fulham are going to struggle at Wembley. Uh, I remember when Tottenham first went there, they didn't necessarily play well until about 10 games in. So, you know, Fulham did have the playoff there, way, right? so that's one thing, uh, the playoff final, I should say. Um, but, yeah, I'm just going to, as I said, put them in the scoreline. Uh, the next game I'm going to talk about is Man City, um, playing Huddersfield. Now, I know, a lot of you, I know I've got the odd comment about why they're not put Huddersfield and Chelsea in. Um, and the, the main opinion was I can only choose six of the fixtures that are in. So what I am going to try and do as well is that I will try and bring teams in every week. Um, so for one day and then this week I'll try and get you in next week uh, and vice versa. Um, but yeah, Man City, Huddersfield. Now you drew the scan from a member last season to do your safety in the pro. Now Man City have only just started and they look strong as always. You know what, Huddersfield, I'm going to give you a benefit of the doubt and I'm going to go with... I reckon it's going to either be 1-0 or a City win. Which way do I go? 
Yeah, I'll go with a one-off scoreline just purely for that. Because I know you could draw against them. I think I'll look for the draw again from minute one. But if not, I'll call it a city win. But as I just said, I'll go with Huddersfield one-off scoreline. Now the next game we're going to talk to you about is Burnley versus Watford. Now obviously you can tell by the places behind me, I am a Brighton fan. I flogged one up uh, Saturday late um, against Watford. We were ridiculous. We were absolutely. We weren't, we were off the ball. We couldn't keep patting the play. We couldn't do anything. Um, now Burnley, you have got a fight on your hands if they've had anything like they did us. Uh, obviously Burnley playing in Europe as well. Uh, but purely for that, I'm going to go with a Watford um, win. Sorry Burnley fans. And I'm going to go with a 1 0 scoreline. Uh, the next game, London Derby. Chelsea versus Arsenal at Stamford Bridge. Um, now, yet again, Chelsea did look on form this weekend. Arsenal lost to City uh, at home. And not Emery still getting his thing into the team, which is understandable. But for that, I'm going to have to go with a Chelsea home win. And I am going 2 uh, 0. Now, the last game that I've put for this weekend. It's not a big game, but obviously Plovers at their club. I'm gonna did their result for this weekend. Uh, it's West Ham um, lost against Liverpool. Uh, my personal opinion on West Ham, they didn't look that great. Sorry, to be honest. Um, now I know a lot of you poor guys say, what, what you're on about with play Liverpool? You look like you've got the same problems that you did before. Um, I came up to yours last season. I also saw you play down here. But we just found with the wings and that's all that Liverpool done. You were too narrow. Which is what I said when I've done my Premier League picture video. That you made the wrong signing. You didn't need to go for Mark Noble and uh, whoever else you had in there was doing a good job for you. you. need someone to come out and then go back in quick to stop that happening. Um, but anyway, West Ham versus Bournemouth. I am going to actually call this one a draw. And I'm going to go... I'm going to go one on. Um, even though Bournemouth won last weekend, I do believe. Um, but I think West Ham just going to get a draw out of this one. Uh, Padigrini, I think it's going to change things around um, for West Ham. Uh, London Stadium, big pitch. So yeah, for that one, I'm going to go one on the scoreline. Anyway guys, this is the end of the video. Guys, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for that.